All right. So with that music, that means that the 60s are calling in disassembly 3D. So I've been keeping this like last because I knew that the pain was going to follow it. I've never done the train yet. My greatest fear is that I click on this and it says like 400 parts or something. Ah! <laughs> It's not 400, but 229 is still pretty freaking bad. Okay, so what do you have? <laughs> it's just a giant like pylon thing that it runs into. I assume as is true in most of these objects, you can, what the hell is that? Oh, it's the doors. All right, everyone. Yeah, go ahead and board on the train here. Let's see what's inside. Don't hold the doors. Oh, we have uh, we have some ads inside over here. These are not YouTube sponsored ads. We've got the American Mercedes from like 1919. I don't even know what's going on over there. Mm. PSD fan, get out and play. Are these are real ads? Like again, it's just like like some of the images in here just appear to be rips of real ads and stuff like that. I don't know. I who okay, cares? It's oh, 1982 is a good year. I like how this is the subway emergency evacuation information, but we're very clearly outside in the glistening sun. All right, well, let's go ahead and close everything up here because we're about to. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep the doors open. We're gonna crash this thing anyway for science. Yes, all the way. Sounds like something out of Star Wars. <laughs> How uneventful. Like, you can't even get that much speed. Hold on, does, does it go backwards? No, it is shot. I don't know what happened, but this thing is done. Well, that got us. That got us basically no parts. 229. I mean, we're only at 217 now, but who knows what sort of evil happened when I crashed this thing. There's probably all kinds of like screws and bolts and stuff like that that I'm never gonna get at because I crashed it. Look at this. What is this? It's one little piece. Does it even count? Oh. All right, all kinds of stuff just flew out. Hopefully all this is just, you better just have this as one piece. If there's like all types of little miniature chunklets in here, I'm gonna be pissed. But what do you know? We got one of these hanging around. I don't know what just broke. Boop. That's got to be a piece, right? That was a bonus piece. Sad little seat. You're coming with me. Front chunklet. What is this say in the front? Hold on. Oh, that's just the evacuation. It said something over here, though. Sit down. Oh, don't mind if I just smash the window out. Do the windows break that easy? You would think that they would be a little bit tougher than that. See? Whoa! I just wanted to take the door off. That was it. The door wasn't having any of it. The door is very, very dissatisfied at this turn of events. Oop. Man, this is like glass breaking simulator. Boop The glass just goes full. Like I'm not even really doing that much. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm ripping the door off, but it's not like I'm, you know, putting a, a field goal kick through it or anything. How are you staying on? Oh, never mind. Only 208 more. Whoa! This one door over here is like, please, Gray, have mercy. No mercy for the glass. So, so far this doesn't. Oh, the window's separate. You gotta be freaking kidding me. All right. There, game. Happy now? I was gonna say, so far this doesn't seem that bad. Does this mean that all these, like this inside perimeter can get ripped off or no? All right, those are fine over here maybe yep look at this right here bull crap all right so far so good we're at 194 that's pretty good we, we're down like 30. oh there's so many seats although in retrospect like i think i would rather have these seats then, you know, when, we, when we're doing the other things and it's like, it's a bolt, but it has a nut attached to it. And like, they're two completely separate objects in this game. I think I would rather have this. These pipes are floating. Uh, yeah. Disassembly 3D doesn't care about your physics. Your physics has no sway here. Who wants more glass breaking? Did that glass not break? Are you serious? Like I set up the whole little one liner and the glass didn't break did it really not break no it broke yeah it broke it, 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 everything's fine could you break like more satisfactorily this time there we go that's better uh oh oh no i shoved something inside of something else wait i got it out i got it out it's fine it was one of those moments where the hole wasn't as big as i thought it was and so when i was trying to pull the window out it got stuck in the slot. Man, these seats are hovering too. It's like something out of Back to the Future too. 
I'm not gonna lie, we have 143 parts left. The rest of it better be underneath because we're moving through this train pretty quick. Oh God, it's all of these friggin' pipes. I'm gonna take a pipe to this door. There. Wow, the glass break was completely silent. Come here, boy. Oh no. Crap, I didn't really mean for that to happen. Now there's just stuff littered all over the place that I hadn't gotten to yet, and it's gonna screw everything up because I need to make sure that every single part is completely disassembled. Oh. Oh, all the floor pa panels are their own separate entities. Of course they are. All right, we're doing... Well, I was gonna say we're doing glass break from max height and then the glass broke just from the, I don't know, the sheer g-forces of being up that high. Just yanking poles, just yanking poles. Sometimes you've got to jerk the pole to the left. Sometimes you gotta jerk the pole to the right. Those poles look like a Final Destination movie just waiting to happen. Oh crap, I teleported a door inside of another door. Okay, it came out, everything's fine. Now, before we destroy the front, let us go over here and take a look at the controls, which are incredibly Spartan. There's like four buttons and a, and a twisty do. That's it. Is there really nothing else? Like I'm not missing any other hidden panel. Oh, here we, here we go. This feels more like it. This object, are you? All the buttons are separate. Are you friggin' kidding me? This particular one, I think, has more glass break than any other disassembly we've done. More glass break. There you go. Yay. Achievement unlocked. Bunch of lies. I still got 78 parts to go. Oh, I think all these wheels are separate parts. Look at the size of that thing. You need a power tool for that, all right. Oh, my God. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh, these things are everywhere. Yep. Now I can see why the pieces are so high. Oh, God. No. Please, just, just come out. Do not twitch through the map. Thank you. Woo! Huh. Man, crisis averted. That's some wheels right there. Look like giant dumbbells. There is no way this is one piece. I'm telling you right now, no way in hell. Yep, there you go. Oh, there's more. You know there is. Look at this. Right over here. Oh, we're down to 53. I may actually be able to do this without feeling like I want to eat a frisbee. I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is... We're almost done with the train. The bad news is there's still 42 freaking pieces left. 39 pieces and I am running out of stuff to destroy. All right, we're getting there. We've got all the bonuses. We're down to 29 parts. We may actually make this happen. Oh, what the crap was that? All I wanted to do was take the wheels off and the rest of the frame went just ejaculating into the sky. All right, this is getting legit. We're down to 16 parts. Oh, please. In the name of everything holy, let the last eight parts be in here, please. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, this is a little bit of a pickle here. I'm out of parts. I still got five left, which means that somewhere in this giant freaking debris field, there are four additional things that have to get pulled apart from one another. Wait, hold on. I got a few more. Okay, four, three, uh-huh. Okay, did I miss one of these? Is that what it is? Two little springs on a chunklet? Please tell me it's two little springs on a chunklet. No, oh, all these springs are detached. None of, none of them count. Okay, I'm down to two. What it was was like two parts were fused together by the crash site. Oh boy. So, um, I actually had to stop recording and just get this done because it was taking forever. I ended up having to reset the entire thing because I think when I ran it into the chunklet over there, something got malformed and it screwed everything up. But we freaking got the bomb which means that it's time to blow this beautiful beast up. Now, in order to blow this up, oh my God, the size of the bomb. In order to blow this up correctly, the bomb must be securely seated on the inside of the cart. Look at how they made the bomb just the right size to get in there. There we go. Let's go ahead and close those 
Close the cl close the the doors. There we have it. Now we have to do is just get this thing moving forward. Like so. Put this like this. Actually, you know what? Let's can I can, can it go backwards? Just a little bit. I don't want it to go backwards too far. Oh, not too fast. Not too fast. Not too fast. Now we go forward. There we go. And then right before it hits, we get the happy new year. Now, it appears as if though the bomb has managed to uh, manipulate itself toward the back of the cart somehow. Can fly through all the sadness. Now, let's say that you're sitting inside. Right over here. What could you expect? Oh, it's like in segments, it's blowing away. Oh, but it doesn't look like it's going to reach all the way to the uh, front part of the, of the uh, train. Everything else got nuked and obliterated, but the front, the front part of the train is completely fine. Look at how crazy that is. It literally just got blasted completely in half. Now what happens if you put your bomb right into the, oh, we're deforming the train, right into the middle of the train, right about there. Maybe a little, maybe over a little bit more. Have a seat, Mr. Bomb. Why don't you get inside of one of these plush pleather chairs? Oh, you can't get past the bars. Well, hold on, let me see. Can I take one of these bars out? Will it let me? Without glitching it crazily? Eh, it's kind of glitching it crazily, but we'll be all right. There, perfect. Now it's right in the middle. Now, how well... Hold on, let me close all the doors. Now can the bomb blow the entire train up? Here we go. Looking good. That's not too shabby. The entire middle portion of the train is feeling depressed. But if you notice... Both the front and the back end of the train are fine. It's like someone took a hot dog and just like bit the middle of it and left the two ends for some reason. Like they were eating their hot dog sideways. And when the flame, okay, 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 calm down. Calm... Yep, that's enough. Nope, stop, 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 stop. I can't stop it. I can't stop it. All right, I was gonna say when the smoke clears and everything stops jittering around, we're left with 149 parts. Oh my God. So this is exciting. I managed to get the bomb stuck behind this thing. Whatever. Full steam ahead. Boom. Now that was pretty good timing. Like the bomb went off just as this thing hit the front and we got some good damage in. Oh, flex seal, flex tape, whatever. Flex caress the deliciousness. That was weird. The flames were like in a perfect L shape, like they couldn't get past the board. All right, we'll do a long bomber. Here we go. And the long bomb? That was way off on the side. I'm not even sure if that'll do any damage. Nah. All right, one more time. This one's for all the marbles. Here we go. Oh, that looks good. Boom! <laughs> yes! <laughs> go! Wow! Look at it blow all the wheels off and stuff. That was a potent bomb right there. I'm surprised it did that much damage. Ah, YouTube demonetization. Go. Here we go. Here's something YouTube will be just fine with. Blowing up an Xbox controller. Oh, I'm sorry. The X has been removed so that there's no copyright infringement. Instead of being an Xbox controller, what we have here is a, a Tex-Mex controller. Do you like Southwestern food? I do. Can you turn this thing on? I mean, all the buttons press. It'd be cool if there was like a TV and there was a little fighting mini game or something like that that you could play. Now, in these in these things, there's always what the hell. I was gonna say there's always screws on the back. So this is where I would imagine we start from. Now, I've never had to disassemble an Xbox controller for any reason. I have disassembled my mouse many a time, so I know to typically look under the chunklet, and there you will find either screws or hidden screws. Luckily, we just have screw. Whoop. That didn't come off like it was supposed to. Oh! The controller works? What the hell? Whoa! The button just went flying off. I have a feeling that button wasn't supposed to come out like that. So if you touch these, can I summon some sort of, you know, like, like where it's like down, up, down, up, A, B, A, B. Does anything cool happen? No. All right, I'm just gonna lift the front of this little shroud off like so. Now I kind of wonder if the middle button is its own. Yeah, sure is. Don't know where the, there it is. I was gonna say, I don't know where the other piece went. It went rocketing up into space. Things aren't always what they see in disassembly 3D. All right, a lot of wires 
decided to go on vacation just now. Like, they just went soaring into the sky. I didn't touch them. They came off, and I'm pretty sure they counted as parts removed. This is actually pretty cool. This isn't really what I expected to see inside. Like, I never really thought about what the pieces would look like that the control pad and stuff are all, like all the thumb pad and everything are connected to. You're coming with me. There we go. See, those wires just kind of like fell off. Like it was no big deal. Uh Oh, it came off with no issues. I'm somewhat surprised. I don't have the bonus two items yet though. Hopefully we can find them. Come here. Come on, right this way. There you go. What is this? What side is this on? Oh, it's on this side. That seems cheap. This bull crap right here, I could have missed that easy. The stuff was almost see-through. See that right there? You know what that is in Disassembly 3D? Lies. You're coming with me, but... Ah, that's one of the bonuses. Which means that this is one of the bonuses, too. Got it. Controller. Although we still need the other three parts to get the bomb. Well, now I am at a bit of a quandary. We've removed all this, and yet there are two... There are three items still connected. Crap. Oh! Got one, two items left. Oh, got the other one. One item left. I'm pretty sure I just found the last piece. Flibbity jibbit. Yes. Give me my music. There it is. 85,000 points. Actually, it's not that bad. Or not that good, but it's not that bad either. Well, Mr. Xbox controller. <sighs> wow, it landed right in the little channel. No, did you fall off? I was gonna say you failed in your mission and thus you must pay. But before the bomb rolled off the little shallow channel there, I had to do this. And man, the pieces go a flying. Even the little buttons and stuff are all disassembling in midair. Zero parts left. If you remember when we bombed the train, there was still like 140 something parts left. It's raining Xbox pieces. All right, let's get the throw down. There's the flick. And that's way off on the side. I'm not even gonna try. All right, here we go. That's pretty clean. I think that that's gonna be a blow up right there. Zero parts left. Xbox didn't know. Tex-Mex box didn't know about this. I thought you made quality products. You're saying that your controller can't hold up against a bomb? What kind of, what kind of $49.99 bullcrap is this? Actually, I don't know how much a Xbox controller costs these days. Like the last console I had was Xbox 360, so it's been a while. What consoles do you guys own? Because I'm just an Xbox 360 guy. That's the, that's. Oh, and I own a Switch because my wife bought me one. You guys gotta let me know in the comments section below. What is going on over here? Die a second time. Which ones you guys have? Because I'm very interested to know. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.